My friends, I come to you today with news that you will just not believe. Today, the day of all days in which I was going to introduce you to the wonders of our brand new treehouse, and in which I was going to introduce you to a certain friend who is hiding in the leaves, ready to yahaha at us, I instead have to pivot, and we have to hold everything, because it seems that we have a crime spree on our hands! What the heck? There have been so many things vandalized! Who would vandalize a child's toy like this? Who? Who, I ask you? Somebody who's really, like, they've got, they've got issues. They've got major issues if they think this is okay. Like, they have vandalized the little information board. Do they hate leaves? Is that what it is? Do they just, like, hate the fact that we, we worship the leaf here? That we have unbelievable, adorable, giant Madagascar, uh, leaf insect? Right, 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 right. Okay, no, that's actually a leaf. Okay, I'm sure they're in there. <laughs> but I can't believe this has happened. I am, I am, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to do something about this. I'm gonna have to have the return of none other than the secure trees, which will go ahead and hide the spy cams that we will use to watch over all of these guests throughout the entire zoo. Uh, and actually, I already worked on them, and, and to be honest, guys, I'm really proud. <laughs> because to solve this conundrum, we obviously need to go ahead and we really need to work on getting our, um, our, our security everywhere, right? Because apparently there's a whole bunch of things that are being vandalized all over the zoo, and you may notice that we don't exactly have a lot of security, especially not the kind of security that is going to go ahead and actually take care of chasing down the vandals and and basically telling people to do more than just be quiet. Telling them to hand back that wallet that they destroyed and like yeeting them into, I kind of want to make like a little jail now. Like a little jail cell where you have to sit in there and you have to look at pictures of like crying baby pandas so that you have to feel bad and, and hopefully be reformed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> In order to go ahead and do that, um, we need to put some security around the place. And then I will have to introduce you to my little friend, where this is actually kind of like a Where's Waldo thing. You can see my little friend right here. And this is going to be the moment where those of you who find it can go ahead and say so. But a lot of you guys probably aren't going to find it. And I made Chips walk this entire zoo until he found it. But I will introduce you to my little friend who is hiding. You can see them from this point in here later. Uh, for now, I actually have something new to go ahead and show off to you after... <gasps> are there... Are there no more... Okay, oh good. Okay, good. There are leaf insects in here. Did we never actually set this to be... Like, wait, what animal escaped? Oh, 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 we have a curious anteater on the loose. That's okay. That's okay, Yara, you stay there. We're busy. We're, like, kind of dealing with, with the security tree issue at the moment. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> Getting a little bit of info information about $250. <gasps> Friends, I cannot believe the cost these vandals have already, like, put on our zoo, even though we have almost $4 million, and I can't seem to throw this money down holes, literally. Like, literally, we still have to deal with, like, the giant hole that I made over here. Okay, yeah, this this thing, we'll, we'll, we're getting there, we're getting there. But we have to deal with the security issue first. Um, yeah, I literally can't throw the money away. But, also, you won't believe the emotional damage it has done to know that among some of the people here, we don't have, we don't have nice people. We have people who are, who are being somewhat ill-behaved. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna catch them in the act. We're gonna spy on them with none other you guys! I love these! Look at how cool these are! These are some of the many, 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 many types of bird statues that you can actually find on the Steam Workshop. Let's just say I went a little bit bonkers for them, uh, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> and you can actually find a ton of different bird statues. And I also found like this bird evolution statue. Very excited about that. We've got uh, like Drake's birds of the world are what we have down right now. And we have like aquatic birds. Look how cute they are! Mandarin duck! Oh my gosh! And pelicans and helmeted cassowaries. And oh my gosh, look at all these little guys. They're adorable! Look at that spoonbill! I love them. 
I absolutely love them and I cannot wait to use those uh, mocked up adorable bird statues to spy on everyone who is misbehaving in the Pixel Sanctuary. And how are we going to do that? Well, those of you who uh, were over in Sahula Sand Safari may recall we used to have secure trees, which are towering trees that have a bunch of hidden cameras inside of them that go ahead and handle most security issues. And uh, we're actually going to be using the birds as spy cams. I love this idea. I'm so excited about this idea that I may have spent <laughs> forever <laughs> creating this. Boom, my friends! Secura Tree 2.0, the Secura Stump. Okay, maybe that's not like the most exciting name, but at least we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> but this is the new Secura Tree Stump that we're actually going to use to lure in guests, unsuspecting criminals who will stop and they will admire this lovely spot, drawn to it for reasons that they just can't quite put their finger on. Hint, hint, the reasons happen to be the fact that, um, yeah, this, this spot right here, it has a hidden camera in it hiding inside of these plants behind an epitite. Let me see. You see it right there. That's the kind of stuff that you want to be really careful to look for when you stay at a sketchy Airbnb, for instance. Uh, but that is the hidden camera that will be peering out at the guest. And the guests are going to be drawn to this spot and they just don't know why. And it's actually because there happens to be at this zoo that normally is like a bazillion and a half degrees. There should be, hey, where's my cooler? There's a cooler in here. I swear there's a cooler in here. Oi, hey, are you gonna, are you gonna act up because, okay, come on. I, I know I put a cooler in here. Dang it, you're ruining my, my, my experience of being able to like show off to everybody's stuff. Ah, uh, okay, let's see, infrastructure. Would it be under infrastructure or on earth? No, transport, education, mechanic research, vet research, staff, animals, finances. Uh, would it be, okay, infrastructure, uh, uh, water treatment. Gosh darn it, I had it. <laughs> This isn't fair. I did have it. Uh, also, we... Oh, the Indonesian theme. Oh, we have two themes we haven't researched? Ooh, we really don't have very highly trained mechanics. No wonder things aren't getting fixed. Uh, PFL Beautifier, if you could please get on the Indonesian theme. Thank you, thank you. Um, I know that there's a place. I can do the very, very, very boring thing of looking over audio-visual... <laughs> of looking over the coolers or at least oh i forgot how you could enter the camera view where am i oh my gosh i'm in a cherry tree hey is that a vandal <gasps> that's a vandal oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that who was that who was that where was that i need to find okay look for the cherry blossom tree and we're gonna find somebody stole something you get out of here! Get out of here, Denver! Oh my gosh! Guard Tiger Lily! You are definitely in deserving a raise and also deserving like getting paid. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you like tiger stripes because I can't believe that you just managed. She just strolled in there and she was like, uh-uh, you're not taking that. You're not you're you're gonna return that wallet. Wow. Okay, crime's pretty bad if, like, literally all I had to do was check one secure, like, security area and, like, <laughs> there was already crime. So whatever, there should be a cooler inside of this thing. Uh, I'm a little flustered if it managed to get lost, but maybe I messed up somehow. We're gonna go ahead and put it at 75 degrees because this, this is what is going to go ahead and lure our unsuspecting guests into our clutches. So, will the cooler actually cool things over here? Wait, do I have it cooling things over here? And, wait a second, is there a cooler there? I, oh my, oh my gosh, there's a cooler there. It's just that hot here. <laughs> That's awful, oh my gosh. I can't believe this, this is, I mean, it's 84 degrees right now, but like, it's often 108 here, so that's why the guests are going to be lured to this spot because they're going to just be like, oh, it feels really nice and refreshing over here. Gosh, I wonder why. Uh, and also we have a wee bit of uh, education 
that is actually going to be tucked in here because and then i wonder negative impact on guest needs buildings uh okay because we have a hidden conservation station inside of this rock as well like it's tucked away in there let me see if i can i can get in here real quick and yoink see behold the mystery below the rock and then uh we're gonna go ahead and fix that there <laughs> but you guys may be wondering like siri what the heck why why do you have this stump why are you so excited about it how is it going to transform the entire pixel sanctuary and make it into a sanctuary for people where they won't get their wallets stolen the answer friends is like i said with bird spy cams so without further ado we're going to take one of the secure tree stumps and I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work because we're going to be able to come over and we're going to take our secure tree stump and we're going to put a bird on it. A bird! I'm so excited so we can have our spy cam! And we're going to use none other than my favorite, favorite pigeon. The crowned pigeon. The crowned Victorian pigeon. I love it. I love it. You guys know how much I love this big, foofy, adorable bird. Uh, they're really huge. Actually, they're like at least chicken sized. I've met chickens smaller than the crowned Victoria pigeon, and they are quite social, actually. They really, really love being uh, with like at least another member of their little pigeon flock so that they can fly up into a tree if uh, one of them alerts the others of danger. And I am going to use them as some of our very first they don't really stay up in trees, but I don't want this one to be alone. This just being like art. Ah and now we have our pigeon spy cam. That looks so cool. I am very happy with this. <laughs> and that is going to be how we are going to now use security through most of the uh, Pixel Sanctuary, because I think it looks really awesome and it gives us an opportunity to really bring more color and to give more representation of different kinds of life that you can actually find around the world. I do think um, we might even get to the point where we have like a little info board over here. And let's see, like with the education, visual bits and bobs we might put a little info board down that would just have some educational information uh projection oh, screen yeah maybe just a tiny one that might have some information about the the type of bird involved but that that's kind of like down the line for now i'm just glad that we have some really cool security um and we should probably get it out of the butterfly area <laughs> As we are trying to leave a lot of the templates out so they're fast and easy to grab from, I actually thought that putting all of these birds next to the peafowl area and inside what will be the future butterfly exhibit would be a pretty good move. Because uh, then we can just like pop over here and we can just grab some of them and we can pretend that this is kind of a celebration of flight. So it's got all of these bird statues to just give you a hint of a few of the birds of the world and it's going to hopefully have butterflies eventually. Only finally get there. All right, let me grab these real quick because, okay, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I should have been a little more cautious about that. Uh, and where are we going to stick you? Over here. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's perfect. We're going to lure so many people into our trap and they are going to have to behave themselves. I love this. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be so fun and I'm really excited that it's going to let us just like admire different species from around the planet. Look, people are already stopping to look at it! Yes! Ah, my dreams are coming true. We can even add like maybe some of the pitcher plants. Why not? I purposely didn't decorate the entire piece because I wanted it to be able to go ahead. I wanted to be able to go ahead and I wanted, um to customize what kind of plants we put on because it's always fun to add in more plants, right? All right, can I do this picture plant? I need to actually look at a proper picture on a picture plant. Oh, uh, never mind, never mind. I, I have one. I think I need to make it go backwards. Okay, I'm gonna have to like double check my picture pieces in order to go ahead and work on that. Uh, but we can go ahead and name this the um, Victorian crowned pigeon spy cam yep 
And we can also, oh, we can rename this one so we know which spy cam it's associated with. Victorian Crown Pigeon Spy Cam. Let's see. Or bird, bird eye? Bird, uh, bird eye cam. Hmm, bird eye spy. Ha! Ah, bird eye spy, I love it! <laughs> Alright, so that's what we'll call this. And it appears I may need to adjust the amount of appetites I have, because I actually can't, can't see through here. Uh, Alright, well, it's a good thing I actually tried that out before, <laughs> before we went ahead and we made permanent decisions. Alright, let's switch you over there. Probably not going to be able to see past the birds. That's fine, because I think you're cute. Uh, Alright, Bracken, let's move you up and over just for a second, just so I can, I can kind of get under you, please. Oh my gosh, Lady Fern, out of the way, please. Okay, okay, oh my gosh, other Lady Fern, out of the way. Alright, maybe I added a few, a few mini plants, but it was in good, good faith. Alright, come here. Okay, I got it. Oh my gosh. Alright, so if I scoot this up a little and turn it a little, will that give me the view I'm going for? Or is it just going to give me... Hmm. It definitely gives me something. Partially a headache. I wonder... I mean, because it would be so cool to have our bird spy cam. I didn't think about looking through and being able to actually, like, see through it. That wasn't in my plans when I made this, <laughs> to say the least. Also, I think it's upside down, is the thing. <laughs> actually, like, being able to see through this legitimately was not in my plans when I made this, or else you guys would be, um, you guys wouldn't be enduring this right now. Alright, what about now? Okay, I can kind of see past them. I'm definitely topsy-turvy. Let's see. What if I turn you like so? Alright. Whoops. No! Okay. 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 What about now? Okay. <gasps> We're almost there! I love it! Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of work on the premise, but this is how we are going to try to go ahead. Uh, whoops. <laughs> This is how ah, we are going to try to go ahead <laughs> and we are going to make it so that we can spy on the people in our zoo. I just am going to need to do a little bit more fiddling if I actually want it uh, to be like spyable. But we'll worry about that later because uh, there we go. Because that looks nice. The principle of the matter stands. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see. I'm going to remove that pitcher plant too. Where did everybody go? Maybe they knew I was going to spy on them, so they got out of here. But I love this, so that's going to be really fun. I'll fix it a little bit so that we can go ahead and we can actually see through it and like really have the quote unquote bird's eye view because I think that would be very fun. And it will give us an opportunity to talk more about some of the amazing birds that we do share our real life planet with who haven't yet shown up yet, yet in Planet Zoo. Not like I'm waiting for those, uh, those uh, aviaries, or excuse me, the open exhibits with the uh, butterflies and the bats to produce feathered friends anytime soon. Uh, but we can talk about more of the birds that we share this planet with, like the Victorian ground pigeon, largest pigeon species on the planet since, you know, we ate all of the dodos. Yep. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll talk about slightly more cheerful things. And I just love the design. I love the idea of spying on everybody through birds. And speaking of spying on everyone, I need to introduce you guys to a couple other quick ideas before we go ahead and we prepare for a fantastic choose your own adventure event next time. So friends, you may recall down here before the whole vandalism thing, I was going to show you a little friend that we have now added in to our Pixel Sanctuary. And friends, look at him! Yeah! Oh, we found him! Isn't he so cute? I found this guy on the gallery and I just could not, or excuse me, Sims player, so of course, wait a second. Was that the- Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's it! 
Where's my Where's my Patreon name list? I need somebody who's gonna who's gonna just like come on in and they're gonna just like crack down on this. This is unacceptable. And we are going to welcome Nightmare. Mm, that's a perfect name. Perfect name for what we want her to accomplish. Nightmare, welcome. I am so glad you are here because you are going to now patrol the Leafy Lord Keeper Academy zone. Actually, I should probably have you patrol the um, Party Peafowl Plaza. We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna give you the leafy green goodness, the leafy shirt of green goodness, and you are going to be, there we go, and what kind of color cap should I give her? Yeah, green again, because why not? <laughs> and she is going to be the, the, um, the arbiter of justice here. So, I will do my best to train you. Uh, oops, and we need to name you. Okay. Uh, <gasps> there we go! Yes! She's already on it! Apprehending a miscreant, are we? That's right. Apprehended by security. What did you just do, you jerk? There's not much vandalism in the zoo. So you decide to go ahead and vandalize everything? I hope that we fleeced you for most of your money, and it looks like we did. Good. Good. Get out of here. Get out of here, you jerk. There. Now we might have the protection that we need. So, um... We're actually gonna name her the Nightmare. Nightmare, what a good name. There we go. Of Vandals. Because she is going to be catching all of them. <laughs> but yes, so I did find these adorable Koroks on the Steam Workshop. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love them. And I want to add one in. As you guys know, I have gotten really obsessed with Koroks. I kind of always have been obsessed with them. But now that we are going on our Tears of the Kingdom adventures, I'm really, really obsessed with them. And one of the just absolute joys of having the Pixel Sanctuary is the fact that this place, this beautiful chaos, has been with us since the very first day that we could step foot into Planet Zoo. Technically even earlier than that, since I had early access. <laughs> and it has grown over the years. I have been proposed to, I have gotten married, I have gone through so many things, added a bevy of nieces and nephews since we started all of this, and I have learned so much. And a lot of people would say, start fresh, get rid of everything. And while we may soon be changing a lot, and while we may soon be removing some of our historic villages and replacing them with much tidier establishments. Okay, look, I'm gonna try to do tidy for me, okay? <laughs> One of the things that I love the most about the Pixel Sanctuary is being able to move through it and find memories. Memories like Mark J. Flamingo Garden, memories of our Pagoda Pavilion, where we've got all of the different waffles, all of the different um, pangolin, pangolin who passed away tucked over here. We've got memories tucked up with our shrine to the lost pandas. Look how many pandas we've had, how many generations. With of course the shrine of On, the very, very first addition to our zoo, right up here with floating like leaves and everything around the statue of Zizi. I, I love this. I love finding these memories. And I love finding you guys. Like many of our patrons are here two or three times over. Like who's that? It's Vet Celeste. I know Celeste, she's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and train her even more. And I really love that it's a, it's a hallmark. It's a gallery of memories, as well as a gallery of celebrating what's so beautiful about this world we share together. And on that note, that's why I'm so excited about the Koroks. I am hoping every day that we are here I will be able to add a new Korok named after one of our patrons and it will forever be part of these memories. I don't know how many years we have in our Pixel Sanctuary, apparently 102. So you know, 400 years later, they will still be here and we will still have a little, a little friend waiting and hiding for us in the leaves who is going to go ahead and remind us of the people that have been on this adventure with us. So the first one is named after my husband, Chips. <laughs> and I'm really happy. I, I really did make him look through the entire zoo to find this. I was like, you'll know when you see it. And he did. And I'm, I'm really excited about that, to continue making more memories with all of you while we continue to go ahead and discover 
more birds, fun ways to handle things like vandals, new art, mushroom lamps that I actually need to introduce you guys to, and um, I'll just leave you with this, and our secret clubhouse. Yeah, uh, let's just say that there's going to be uh, something that we're going to be doing in here next time. <laughs> But for now, my friends, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you would like to see what the Secret Clubhouse is all about, well, come back next time, and then we will prepare ourselves to set forth on a choose-your-own-adventure chaos moment. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh,